in the laning phase, as long as he doesn't do his Marin things and not put down wards. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that. But yeah, like you said, I think this is a overall a really good test for Samsung. You both picked a relatively meta champ strong, and you know the boots also going to help against Ord Inception. And Crown, if he was given the chance, would have loved to harass as much as he could with that and shove the lane in. But he's even going to try to prevent that as much as possible with his item pickups. Eve taking some damage, but. Poking really on the side, and Bang's just going to come in. There's a flash exhaust from SKT, and Bang just one more auto attack. He picks up the red buff, and he won't even bother looking at Kuve. Just going to go wow. back and secure all the CS. Does it even auto? Yeah, Eve just wants to go in. They both have a smite, so Eve, if he wants to secure it, he's going to have to use the smite. And Tom just trying to calculate his barrel damage on his own. And there's the flash over from Crown and the charm. Tom jumps over with the flash, and then body slams away the ignite is not gonna be enough wraith coming in oh and he flashes over for the pulverize gets the auto attack picks up the kill An great play that re usually really needs oh and in top lane eve comes in for a gank and there's the flash but twisted advance comes in afterwards the ultimate from kube and oh the explosive cast almost saves him but double flash blown from samsung to secure the kill i think fishy is up they saw him go in. Wraith actually wow. just going to march all the way through. They're going for the long plan here, and there is the flash pulverize to ensure that he can knock him back with the headbutt. But a nice Valkyrie and the monsoon coming. Kube comes in with the teleport. Fury picks it up with the culling. Equalizer blocking the escape from Fury and Kube. But the teleport coming in in time from Kube is going to help pick up that kill. Easy. And yeah, Samson, I mean, they thought about starting. It looks like they are just going to go ahead and do it. Marin's going to go home. He picks up a blasting wand, had that haunting, guys. His teleport is available. Home guard on the rumble. Samsung goes ahead and starts the dragon. Where's the teleport? Martin actually left base. He's gonna go back, charge it up. The teleport coming in from the rumble right above the pit. And Tom just pushes everyone out with the explosive cast. The dragon gets reset. Tom's up front. The equalizer actually shuts out Wraith and Tom on opposite sides. Fury picks the first kill onto Tom. Wraith is Hemo played along with three other members, but Fury is safe at full health. Easy and gets charmed, but Fury a little too far to do damage. That rumble and the Corky poke coming out over the entire fight. Fury can't turn around. There's a burst from the Lucian, but it's not enough. He dodges the Foster's Bomb. Easy and chasing after him. Wraith a little too scared to go help him unless it's absolutely necessary. Look at the burst from the Vladimir. Flash forward from Bang, but there's the head but pulverize. Easy and picks up the kill onto Fury. Eve pokes up the kill onto Bang, and Marin now just diving through. He wants one more Harpoon or the flame spitter and he's gonna go ahead and get the double kill for the ace wow ace right there as skt turns it around bit risky the dragon actually living through all of that and then following it through with the tower dive we've got another dragon fight going on yeah and this time the teleport coming in from kuve so skt now defending the dragon but here comes marm from the side with the flank he's just used his pool so that is down Dragon going very low, and Eve gets the steal, and Samsung looks like they just want to get out of the Equalizer onto Fury. He's completely shut out of the fight. There's the culling onto Tom. It pushes him back, and the Twisted Advance secures the kill, but Ezeum comes in with the Hemo Plague. He's going to chase after two people. Can't catch either one, though, as Kuve tries to run away. He's going to be harpooned down. There's a Flame Spitter. He will have to be sacrificed, I think. Charm not going to hit. Oh, the Ward and the Twisted Advance over, and that forces Marin to have to use his Flash. And there's the passive again for Kuve. <laughs> just trying to use as many skills to get his passive back up. There, considering the circumstances. <laughs> Wraith, Wraith I, looking I just for love the his Moby flanks. boots. <laughs> He's marching forward. The flash is available for Bang, and there is the headbutt and the ball of Rizal leading into the charm. Bang staying a little too long. Yeah. Only, you know, 6k, it's quite a bit, but compared to the 5k burst that SKT got earlier after the dragon fights, uh, you know, as Samsung has stabilized a decent amount. Fury going in onto Easy, and there's a charming knight onto the Vladimir Culling coming out. And can he get the damage onto Easy? And Easy doesn't find the right angle of escape. And Fury picks up the kill. What a good combo between Crown and Fury. Fury is so good at hitting the Culling. That's something that we've seen from his Lucian. Okay. Yeah, like well, we got a flank. Marin's ready for a really good equalizer if he gets Easy just hiding in the brush. And is it coming down? Fury's across the wall, so Fury's completely out of the fight, and Bang goes in with the Blade of the Ruin King. He's going to chase him down with the Flash, and Bang gets an easy kill. Marin, job well done, just backs out, draws the entire Samsung team away from the Dragon Pit, and Kuve is just too late. Didn't find an angle to use his teleport because of the pinch coming in from SKT. Well, he was trying to walk down, but SKT was already set up. They preemptively teleported, had Marin there, just waiting in the brush, and again, <laughs> secure that objective. Yeah, I mean, they still don't have eyes on Eve. Marin doesn't have his teleport anymore. They know that Kuve still has his, so 
I think it definitely wasn't worth the risk. They're coming. actually just going to go ahead. Kuvi coming in with the home guard. Easy and right there. There's the explosive cask on top of the pool to deny that. But Righteous Glory onto Tom with a twist in advance. They will pick up one kill onto the Gragas. Wraith goes in to make sure Bang doesn't do too much damage to his teammates. And twist in advance back in onto three people. Crown comes in with the spirit rush. He's doing a lot of damage, Fury. but there is the exhaust. And Bang coming in. He's out of mana. Easy and had to use his zone. Yes, Fury has rejoined. He's at full health. There's the equalizer. Does quite a bit. Fury doesn't have a way to escape. He has to walk all the way around. And that's going to be the end of that fight for now. But Marn's not done yet. He knows he can do quite a bit of damage. He's going to try to harass Eve. They want to fight this. All right, well, Eve's also there. Eve has a really good plan, but he's way too far ahead of the entire team. There comes Kuve from the side, and Eve is pretty tanky. So Kuve shows up. Bang doesn't get the kill. Kuve now, Righteous Glory is done, but there's the ghost coming in as Marin now shows up from the side, and he gets some good harpoons. There is a beautiful equalizer. Wraith has been completely separated. Oh, he might still be able to get out, though. He flashes out, and Fury now free to do damage onto Marin. Marin just jumps onto him with that flame spitter, and there's the slow coming in. From Wolf, easy and gets snared in the back. Fury pretty low, has to use that QSS to run away. And Omar uses the Zonias at the very end. Can they secure the kill? Nice Monsoon to secure that. Tommy on the side of the fight at the very bottom picks up a kill onto Eve. Everyone low on Samsung. Easy and looking for a chase. No summoners on either side. Fury should be able to dash out at the last minute. Four Dragon Snacks for SKT. Uh oh, Bang's looking for a rocket. I think Bang flashed into the wall right there. He just wanted to auto that for the kill, but Bang's just gonna move on up. Still not find an angle onto Crown. They will make a critical error, whether it's one of decisions uh, or one of executions like we saw. They're gonna go and in again, he goes though. in and gets a three, four-man ultimate, but it's just even Kuve, no damage follow-up, and Fury finally coming up. QSS on the Hemoplane, so he's not taking any Amplified damage, but he just isn't in range to do damage to any of these enemy champions. Look at that Equalizer denying the escape and forcing everyone to ditch Kuve on the side of Samsung. Yeah, that was a nice try. Crown. And yeah, they're just gonna keep Samsung at bay as the minion wave starts to form at bottom. And look at that dragon getting bursted down. Kuve marching forward, though. They're trying to deny it. And Wraith goes forward and three-man pulverize. Equalizer onto Fury yet again, though, on the top side. Charm onto Easy. Supposed to cast go down. Eve does steal the dragon. There's the culling. Not really hitting anyone at that point. Fury nearly at full health, but gets slowed down as Ban comes over the wall. There's the pulverize, though. Wraith keeping Fury alive at all costs. And Kuve keeping Tom behind. Now, Marn and Easy Hoon are very healthy. Crown does get a charm as Fury comes in from HP. behind, and he's gonna go on to Marn. Marn turns around, and the Zonia's Flames Bitter will pick up the kill. Can Fury get the revenge kill on to Marn? Should be able to. There's the body slam from Tom trying to save his teammate, but it's not gonna happen. Fury, one more hit. Oh, he's not gonna get it. He hits the ward. He dashes forward, and with his passive, gets the double kill. And Here here's Easy and the <laughs> ultimate boss. One hit, two hit. Wow, Fury actually life sealing off that ward right there just to get a little bit more. Easy and doing the same thing. He's got to run. Fury's very strong right now. Yeah, Easy and can't. Another life seal. He wants to get. No, he's not going to pursue <laughs> this. That's probably smart. He needs to go save his base. Yeah. But some impressive mechanics. Down. He's firing orbs, so he can check it they over the wall. They have a ward in the pit, too. Yeah, so. Marin's going to show up, gets the Harpoon onto Kuve, gets the slow after taking the Banshee's Veil down, and there is a nice headbutt back onto Tom. Eve comes in from the back and completely eliminates Whoa. the threat, and the calling goes down onto Wolf. Wolf is down. No Monsoon available for SKT. They cannot disengage as reliably. They're just going to have to get out. Easy on actually using Ghost to ensure that he can get They're, back to the turret. They have to deal with the super minion or the buffed minion in the top side right this now. This tier 2 in mid is definitely going down, but what about the top lane? How are they going to react to this from SKT? They have to split somehow. Well, that, that's probably going to be it. There, you just blew your flash on your AD carry and the QSS. We'll oh, see but Eve Mano. goes in for the flank. Four man Okuve goes in, and there's the calling onto Wolf. But Marn coming in from the side. Fury turns around. He dashes out of the flame spitter. But can he get the damage onto Marn? He gets it. He's still alive. Easy and at full health, though. Bang at about half health. And Wraith is going to have to run away alongside Eve. He's going to have to protect his teammate. But Easy and coming in with the ghost. Fury just trying to lifesteal as much as possible. The ghost does run out from Easy. Oh, but he gets the Q over the wall. And that should be the game in favor of SK Telecom. Well, SKT a little bit sloppy in those later game team fights. They're not even going to go for that dragon. Just pushing up the middle. Wolf is here with a sorcery potion. He's going to do a lot of tree damage with that, actually. He's going to kill him <laughs> eventually. Eventually, he'll catch up. <laughs> well, just trying to 
deny him from returning to base as Kube and Eve do everything they can to fight this off. Tom taking a lot of tower damage, but it's better than Bang taking it. And Bang's actually pretty low, doesn't have that mana. So Eve, oh, does not escape, gets hit by the last rocket. And oh, Wraith has successfully dodged the Wind Lady. <laughs> the heal is doing a lot of work for him. And it should still be the game. 20 seconds until Crown comes back up. I don't think Kuvan ran him lots, especially with Tom with that beautiful body slam to make sure they secure it. Bang, just focusing down the Nexus. And SKT picks up the win in game number one after a long 54-minute game. Still, you got to give some props to Samsung Absolutely. for holding in there for so long. They were down very far behind in mid and top lane farm. They didn't play the map the best in terms of getting objectives early they fell behind very far in terms of turrets but